Hello and welcome to Newsmax Now. Today is Tuesday, January the 12th. And yeah, we just showed President Obama inside the Oval Office making yeah. some changes to the State of the Union address. I wonder if he'll include anything about this in Iran. We just got this from the Associated Press. According to the Pentagon, two Navy boats are now in Iranian custody. Iran does tell U.S. officials that they uh, have 10 sailors in their custody, but according to these reports, they will be promptly returned. Also, the Pentagon says it briefly lost contact with two small Navy craft in the Persian Gulf on Tuesday, but it's received assurances again from the Iranian government that the crew and the vessels will be returned safely. Pentagon spokesman Peter Cook tells the AP that the boats were moving between Kuwait and Bahrain when the U.S. lost contact with them. We're hearing it's some sort of mechanical trouble. And they went up on Farsi Island, which you can't see on this map. Cook says they have been in contact with Iran and they have again received assurances that the crew will be returned promptly. For more on this, we want to welcome retired Master Sergeant Scott Neal, a special services or special operations veteran. Scott, it's great to have you with us. Well, thank you very much, and thanks for inviting me today. It's our pleasure. So when you hear about this, and do you have any, uh, do you put any stock in what the Iranians are saying, that they will promptly return these 10 sailors and these two vessels? Well, I think, first, Iran will use this as kind of a bit of a narrative leverage. They'll have the soldiers, they'll treat them nice, they'll show what a great host Iran can be in these circumstances and draw the attention to them. But they'll also put America in a place where they have to beg, talk, negotiate, and basically, you know, try to, try to win the release of the sailors. Uh, according to reports also, John Kerry's already been in contact with Iranian Foreign Minister uh, Javad Zarif. Uh, you would think that they would want to release them immediately uh, if there is this, uh, this um, diplomacy that's existed between the Iranians and the United States. Well, one, you know, once again, uh, whether it was a mechanical issue, I heard possibly they ran aground. You know, it wasn't a tense situation like we saw a few days ago with some missiles being fired close to uh, American vessels. What this is was just kind of a situation where probably the nearest ship was Iranian. But strategically, Iran is masterful when it comes to these situations where Iran gets to say its say, gets to talk about what's going on with Saudi Arabia as a way to delay the release for the sailors. Yeah, we'll see what happens from here. Scott Neal, thanks so much for being with us. Thank you.